Boker Tov Chabrim. I'm Stephen Benun, live here in the capital of Israel, Jerusalem. This morning started off on Yom Kippur of a lot of problems and tensions as uh, Jewish worshippers were coming out of the Kotel, coming through from the uh, Western Wall, going having to cut through the Muslim quarter to get back to their homes. They were greeted by Arabs screaming out, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar saying that their God is great. What I've noticed though that was very interesting, and we recorded this time and time and time again, every single time that we make the recording there, we're always finding that as the Jewish worshipers are coming from the Kotel, they're peaceful. They don't seem to instigate or start anything whatsoever. But yet the Muslim people, clearly are instigating all the problems in, in this particular incident today. And we know that this is on a regular basis. The Jewish worshipers always try to be peaceful, while at the same time the Muslim people are right in their faces, screaming and yelling in Arabic, Allah Akbar, or other different types of slangs, taking their shoes off and holding them up to the Jewish people. Even while we were filming, catching these events live, and I wanted to do it. I did it for a couple of hours there so I could document that it's not the Jewish people that cause problems in Israel at all. This comes from the Muslim people, and even the police are very restrained, letting them do what they want to do, but just trying to keep the peace and keep the Jewish people from suffering harm. In fact, as another thing that I noted in this, that the police, it only takes one policeman with a crowd of Jewish believers to push them back but it takes an army in order to deal with the Muslims that are here. It is clear that the riots and the confrontations are instigated by the Muslim people here in Israel. It is a shame that this happens. I want you to watch here just for a moment a clip here where the Muslims actually come to con confront and start the fight with the Jewish believers that are there. Because after so long, by the way, after such a little time there, the Jewish believers begin to gather up there to make sure that their own brethren came through safely. All they did was sing praises. They sing psalms from the Bible, singing them out loud. Because they were tired of seeing their own brethren constantly antagonized with this ridiculous Allah Akbar. But what's sad is journalists never want to cover the truth. They'd like to come in after the, the, the confrontations have already started and only cover what it appears to be that the Muslims are the innocent ones. When in fact, we were able to capture on camera who starts the confrontations. In fact, the man that you'll see in this video that's dressed in all white, he's a Muslim, he was con con starting confrontations with the police when I first walked up, when there was very few people there. And then him and a crowd of other Muslim uh, men, Arabic men, they came up and tried to attack the Jewish worshippers that were there. Take a look at this. This is what's got to be shared with the world because it has become deplorable that the Jewish people are suppressed. They're not allowed to go in their own country, their own city, without having an army to protect them because the Muslims do not want peace. It is clear that they do not. We did notice, though, however, most of the shopkeepers that were on this particular road there is actually, I believe, Chain Gate Road there that goes down towards where there is also an entrance to the, uh, to the Temple Mount there, but it's also the side, there's a little side road that comes out for the Jewish people from the Kotel. And in reality, the Jewish people should be allowed to have the Temple Mount. It is theirs, it is what God has given them. And they're the ones that have a right to this place. 
I'm Stephen Benoon reporting to you live here in Israel, the capital of Israel, Jerusalem. Shalom.